my name is Mars. You can call me MG if you'd like. And if it looks like I'm filming this on the same day as yesterday's video, it's because I am. I figured I would just film these two back to back. Yesterday we had the 2024 Summer Honey Reading Challenge. Today we have something new, which is the 2024 Summer Honey Writing Challenge. It follows the same format as the Reading Challenge, except instead of reading prompts, they are writing prompts. And I put a lot of thought into these, and I think they are very fun, so why don't we just get into them? So as writers, I know we all have a million and one notebooks that are just lying around unused because they're too beautiful, but the prompt for January is to take one of those unused notebooks and write something in it to break it in. This could be a shopping list or it could be journaling about your day, literally anything as long as it's an unused notebook because we gotta use those up guys. February's prompt is to write a description of your typical writing space, or if you don't have a typical writing space, you're kind of all over the place, then to describe your ideal writing place. The prompt for March is to write a scene from the point of view of a non-human and non-humanoid character. So like vampire wouldn't work because they are a humanoid. An animal? A plant? Anything that's not a human or human-like would work. For April, I would like to shout out Writing Violet for inspiring me to come up with this prompt, and the prompt is to write a poem based on a book that you love. May's writing prompt, I think, is pretty fun, and that is to create a writing prompt yourself. Go to a friend who has also created a writing prompt and swap with them, and then you actually, like, follow the prompt that they gave you. I just think it's really fun to do writing with other people because it's not really something you have to do. Writing can be very solitary at times, and I want to promote more interaction in the community. For June, the prompt is to pick any piece of art. It could be a painting or a sculpture, anything like that, and just journal about it. So you can write about what you think the artist was thinking when they were creating it, you can talk about the composition of the piece, you can just talk about how it makes you feel. Anything like that. July is another one that I really like, and this is to either take your favorite song or put your playlist on shuffle and get a random song given to you, and brainstorm the book that you think would have that same title as the song. I think it's just a very fun exercise, and it's one that I'm very much looking forward to. The prompt for August is to write something from the second person point of view. If you don't know, second person would be saying, you did this, you did that kind of thing. September's prompt is to write something reflective. It could be fiction or nonfiction, but it has to some way reflect something that has happened to you, something you heard someone say. It could be a letter to your past self or future self about something in your memories. As long as it's reflective in some way, I'm not going to be too picky about this. October's prompt is to take a scene that you've already written in any project and to rewrite it from a different point of view. November's prompt is different from all of the rest because all of the other prompts are just one-offs. You can do it at any time during the month, but November's prompt is to write one sentence every single day or as many days as you can manage. And it doesn't have to be a good sentence, it doesn't all have to be in the same project, it could be as simple as writing down what you had for breakfast each day as long as it's writing a sentence somewhere. And finally, we come to December and the prompt for the final month of the year is to take something that you wrote for one of the previous month's prompts and to either edit it or share it with a friend, or both if you want to edit it before you share it but it's just returning to an old piece and doing something with it. So I don't know about you, but I am very excited to be working on these prompts throughout next year. I had a great time coming up with them and I'm hoping to have a great time fulfilling them, but that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more content and that way I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye everyone.